I thought so. Cool, thank you. So, I want to tell you guys a story about this kid that I used to know. Now, this story starts when he's in junior high, high school. He's kind of struggling in life with some things like depression and anxiety. He didn't quite feel like he fit in. He wasn't sure where he belonged, and he was just kind of uncomfortable. And he didn't really think too much about it at first, but he leaned on drugs and alcohol to help him feel better, to help him feel like more of himself and like he fit in, and just a little bit more comfortable. And at the time, he always told himself that he would never let drugs and alcohol become a problem. But before he knew it, it became a problem in his life. And before drugs and alcohol, this kid did have a lot of passion about all sorts of things, including music. He loved his friends and his family and so many different amazing things in his life. But what drugs and alcohol did, instead of making things feel more comfortable for him, they actually made things about 10 times worse. And he found himself in trouble with the law. Um, he found himself in relationships that he didn't quite feel comfortable in anymore. He found himself in and out of the hospital for the things he was doing to his body. And it just was not a good lifestyle. And this kid woke up one morning and he realized, he's like, man, what happened to all those dreams I had? What happened to everything I wanted in life? And he realized that drugs and alcohol were ripping those things away from him and keeping them at a distance. So he had this moment of clarity and this realization where he understood that if drugs and alcohol were running his life, he couldn't obtain those dreams and those goals and everything else that's pretty incredible in this life. So he made a decision to reach out and ask for help. And it's the kind of help that's available to anybody, anywhere, who's struggling with anything from self-harm, addiction, um, depression, anxiety. There's people and places today ready and willing to help. So this kid reached his hand out and asked for help. And he turned his life around and he got drug free and he started going after things that he wanted. And things in his life started to work out. And his life today is absolutely and entirely different than the miserable life that he was leading with drugs and alcohol years ago. Today, he gets to travel and play music, and he's got incredible friends behind him, and he gets to do everything that he loves and wants to do, and his life is full of meaning and happiness. And you guys may have already figured this out, but this kid that I'm telling you about in this story is me, and it's my story. And I tell it for a couple of reasons. I honestly don't tell my story for applause or for a pat on the back or anything like that. I tell my story because it's true and it happened to me and I didn't think that it could. And if you guys don't get anything out of this assembly, I want you to understand a couple things. First of all, no matter what you might be going through or what you end up going through in life, drugs and alcohol are not the answer. In my experience, they made things, like I said, 10 times worse. And it's, not, it's up to you guys to reach out for those goals and those dreams. All the things that you want to do in life need to start with a solid drug-free foundation and a lot of self-love. So, how do you love yourself? You gotta take care of each other around us too, right? So like we were saying earlier, do you guys see that number 160,000 teenagers chose to stay home from school today? Do you guys think that's okay? That means that yesterday, 160,000 teenagers were pushed around so much that they didn't feel like coming to school today, and that's not cool.